Hi, welcome to a Things We Like chat track for 1977 Star Wars Holiday Special. <laughs> 1977. 1977. Uh, if you would like to look in the links to find where this is available on our Internet Archive on I don't, YouTube. I don't mean to interrupt. Looking at the <laughs> screen the display screen in front of me. 1978. Yes, that's 1978. It's 1978. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hello, the... I want him to watch the 1977 special. <laughs> the 1978 special uh, if you want to look at the links on internet archive or youtube there's various places you can get this it's in the links you should start your video now it's a special cbs presentation apparently hi welcome to the things we like star wars holiday special chat track of star wars holiday special Chat just, for just to get there and there again. So yeah, this is a uh, broadcast in 1978. Yeah, 1978. Uh, it's been reappearing on the internet recently. Look, look, it's Han and Chewie. They're in a film you've seen. Yeah, it's Star Wars. Loads of them. Well, three of them. And this. And this. Right, I can't really remember like exactly how this came together. This was like, like clearly just after Star Wars. And they were gearing up for Empire Strikes Back, mm. I guess. And they wanted to rush content out to keep uh, people... Buying toys at Christmas? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean, it does seem to be one of like, the big themes with Star Wars. Was they got merch. They got merch. They really got how to merch things to people. That's not the right font oh. for a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. TV. Yeah. Oh, this, this is terrible. Like this. this is the best that TV effects had to offer in the 60s. Where's the yellow scroll? Have you noticed as well? It's gone completely silent. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's very eerie, isn't it? Do you think it was supposed to? Right, I think the version we're watching has gone completely silent because this bit has the Star Wars music. Oh. And the copyright bots would shut their asses down. Okay. Well, if, you know, this is still on the internet and this is the only thing that's missing, that bodes very well for us. <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's all your favourite Darth team Vader. players. <laughs> Darth Vader. Yeah. And uh, Space. Oh, Ewoks. Oh, remember these guys? Are they Ewoks? <laughs> Are they Ewoks? Look at that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I believe this is the bit with the voiceover guys going, it's, um, it's Crazy Sammy and it's Uncle Itchy and it's little... Mogwai. <laughs> it's Be Arthur! Oh. I didn't recognise it because it said Beatrice. It's Art Carney. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. It's yeah. Big 70s music. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. It. <laughs> Harley Corman has loads of people. Boba Fett. Who was that? First at the first Star Wars appearance of Boba Fett ever? Ever? Ever. Oh, yeah. ever. So they obviously they had stuff they were getting together for Empire Strikes Back, but they didn't know exactly what they were gonna do with it. So a lot of the stuff that ends up in this is weird. <laughs> weird? Yeah. Like for instance those like overgrown Ewoks you just saw, these these are Wookiees. This is Wookiee Homeworld. Cashing. Yeah. I, that's what it's called now, but is that what it was called then? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I've, I've named it Wookie World. <laughs> <laughs> oh, George. You're so good with words. And there they are at home. It's very like an American 70s home. It's kind of in an X-Wing. Yeah. It's a shame that these, what I assume my children are so obsessed with space warfare. <laughs> I can't wait to get into space and have a war. Definitely. Has he already got an X-Wing? He's just... You can never have enough X-Wings. Well, yeah. That's probably how the Rebel Alliance felt. <laughs> Shouldn't it be... I'll fucking kill you! Oh, I'm sorry. No. So are these Wookiees? These are Wookiees. That, that one in the chair doesn't look like a Wookiee to me. 
it looks like... It's an old Wookiee, isn't it? It's all grey and white. God, look at that fucking old Wookiee. What happened to his face? I... Yeah, his animatronics is terrifying. It is terrifying. It is. <laughs> to this day, it <laughs> continues to be <laughs> terrifying. And this is, like, Wookiee mom. I don't it's think... It's got a very nice kitchen for a fucking treehouse, yeah. haven't they? yeah. Are they? I don't think it's too much to reveal at this point. Oh, no cookies for you. <laughs> you have your dinner. <laughs> it mentioned this earlier on. They're going to Chewie's home world. This is Chewie's family. This is Chewie's family. This, this is where he came from. Yeah. I think that's Chewie's mum. I think that's his little brother. His little brother is a thief. He's, yeah, he's gone to hell. So is this what like motivates Chewbacca? <laughs> To do what all to the like life threatening stuff he does. Yeah. Just I need to, to go back this. to that. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, It's the only way I can look after my child. He's not really pumped about life on Kashik. 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 I d I don't know. Well, he doesn't look like he's into it anymore. He wants to be an X Wing pilot, doesn't he? Oh, oh. Painted trees. Down, it? The effects are incredible. They're better than the Phantom Menace. Oh! Oh, it starts with a death early. What are you doing, kid? Yeah, you shouldn't be up there. You know, this kid was actually played by George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look at that. Oh, this just looks great. I have a bit of a sort of a obsession with 70s TV effects. Obsession. A little. <laughs> In what way? I, I must have them. I must <laughs> watch them all the time. I reimagine my current modern shows with 70s TV effects. That's wonderful. I collect them in my file. That's one thing I don't enjoy about Doctor Who now. The effects are getting too good. <laughs> Starting to get off pussy. Oh, I listened to um, Batman on Batman and Mark Bernard had said that the only thing Doctor Who has is, is the writing. Because the acting and effects uh, uh, you know, were just all terrible. The, the only thing that held it together was the writing. Right, the writing definitely... I'd give the acting a bit. It, it was hammy, but like I like a big old bit of ham. A big old bit of ham. A big old bit of ham. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not a Doctor Who fan. I got, I got a lot of time for it. I would not be a... What are they chatting about? I have no... I, Uncle Itchy, which I believe is his actual name. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a picture of Chewie. Okay. Uh. And she was all like, oh, I wish Chewie was home. And Uncle Itchy's like, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got there? Um, like a future whiskey. Wookies have, like, living room chairs. Yeah, it, it's surprisingly Art Deco, really. Well, I don't mean Art Deco. It's surprisingly an architecture thing. <laughs> architecture? Design. Architecture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I had a coffee. I'm out of my mind. Oh, she's angry again. Oh, this is a thing. Remember they had holograms in Star Wars? Do you remember nice. everybody? That's what... Is that what's happening? Yeah, remember Star Wars? That film was out last year. <laughs> Buy merch. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is this one of Uncle Itchy's saucy hollow vids? No. <laughs> well, maybe. Jugglers? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a clown hollow vid. Ming the Merciless? <laughs> These holograms are particularly lifelike. They are incredible. That's enough of that. <laughs> oh no, it's no, he's made it big. That's what I want in my living room. That guy. <laughs> That's actually kind of neat. I don't want that guy in my living room. I like the idea of him pointing and making more holograms. I don't. Well, have you never stopped? Mm. <laughs> Look at that kid's face. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of makes 
Does it look like he stood in a plant park? <laughs> Oh, I like the fact of the circus in the future. I love it. <laughs> so maybe they is... won't have the circus, they'll just have this one like, yeah. video of it that everyone will watch. And everyone's obsessed with circus holidays. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense though, I mean, why would they be into sci-fi? Maybe it's yeah. like us sitting watching it. TV special from the 70s they're watching <laughs> Earth culture well, this is their version of like yeah the, the big cultural event <laughs> oh, Holy Circus oh. well, so we're still going hmm this is going on for an extraordinarily long amount of time I just I don't know if it's going on for a long time or because I'm just bored now that it makes it feel like it's going on longer this might be what the rest of the show is, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just this. <laughs> yeah. So, we left Han and Chewie. They were being chased by two Star Destroyers. Mm-hmm. And then I know they're going home to this. It's a bit of a change of pace. Yeah, little. You will encounter much more jarring changes of paces throughout this <laughs> show. So, in roughly 15 minutes, when they just start blasting through the canopy. <laughs> <laughs> So is that Chewie's mum? I'm going to say yes. Okay, I thought it might be Chewie's wife. Chewie's got a wife? It could be, I don't know, I can't I remember. Don't know. <laughs> it just, it seems awfully harsh on her to have been separated from her husband for so long. Cause yeah, that's what I was. Right, if Chewie comes in and he makes out with her, it's his <laughs> wife. <laughs> okay. Is it even definitely a lady? Uh, <laughs> I think it's a lady, but I'm not uh, sure. Why do you think it's a lady? I don't know. The haircut. I can't even remember what it looks like. I don't know why I think it's a lady. I think it is as well. I think they have tried to give her a sort of 70s glossy mane, and you saw her wearing an apron. Yeah. That's definitely why I thought she was. She has definitely been doing washing up and been in the kitchen and whatnot. (laughs) (laughs) Not that I had noticed those. It's the 70s, man. It's the 70s. Oh, what's happening? Wee-o TV Channel 7 Dayton. That might only be viewable on our version. Okay. <laughs> they got a TV. Secret TV. Oh, this is great. Look who it might be. It's that. <laughs> <laughs> They're ringing. He looks terrifying. Uh, it's because he's allegedly coked out of his mind right now. For serious. <laughs> okay. Oh, he has to go away because he's too excited. Because he can't see Mark Hamill in this state. <laughs> <laughs> Send the kids away. Mark's out again. again. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> What was the 70s? We were different times. <laughs> it's that colour. all over like the place. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I need to screw this together, R2. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> A Chewbacca. <laughs> oh my god, were they on their way home for Christmas when they were attacked by Star Destroyers? I think so. Not, sorry, not Christmas. Specifically not Christmas. It's not going to blow the plot, but uh, I think you'll find it's Life Day. <laughs> I need... <laughs> Go and get him. Space can't be that big, can it? Oh, it's at least three big. Have we established where Luke is? The Rebel base... Which one? Hoth. Yeah. Waiting for number two to start. Yeah. Is Hoth near Kashyyyk? Yeah, no. No, it's not, so we can't just pop over. <laughs> oh, wow. That's an intense stare. <laughs> Definitely. Like I was saying, everybody did drugs, and allegedly, like, in this, Hamel, Leia, and Han Solo may potentially have 
than Amal um, Leia and Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. Because I've got no boundaries for reality, really. Yeah. <laughs> now all I can think is that is a cloud of cocaine <laughs> surrounding <laughs> Luke Skywalker. That's his cocaine machine. It's clearly broken. <laughs> R2 is fucking it up. Where, where is, is 3 p going to be in it? And is he on cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely going to be in it. I can imagine it. Let's use the legitimate TV phone. What are they ringing now? Uh, if we're lucky, it's B. Arthur. Hmm? If we're unlucky, it's out of Connie. But then again, if we're unlucky, it's B. Arthur. <laughs> oh my god, their phones are so complicated. Trading post Wookiee Planet C. Oh yeah, apparently the planet is called Wookiee Planet. It actually is called Wookiee Planet. A man or a Wookiee, because they're the only thing. <laughs> well, maybe he just sells things to men and Wookiees. What other aliens are in uh, A New Hope? Oh. There's like the Trandoshans, are they a thing? What's, what's Greedo? I don't know the I race say names. he's a Rhodesian, but that's just like a place in the world. That's in yeah. the really real world. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that where Zimbabwe used to be called? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know any of the first Hope's races names. I know a lot of their names. Hammerhead and Bumface. 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 Might not be his legitimate name. It's the guy who had a bum for a face. <laughs> that guy, Bumface, yeah. What is this shot? Well, I demand to just not pay attention to this and ask <laughs> questions part way through. <laughs> Chewbacca. Oh, so he's like a, a smuggler. Yeah, it kind of plays out like he's a sort of French Resistance style character, and the, the he's Rene. <laughs> he's essentially he's <laughs> Rene from a low low. Yeah. Okay. Will he be caught in a compromising position with one of the waitresses? No doubt. What if the Imperial Guard turns around and sees he's talking to a yeah. Wookiee, which are considered a slave race by Imperials, so I don't know why he was talking about Wookiees being allowed in the shop before. Uh, re- well that's probably, like, this is like just after the film, they're working stuff out as they go along. As far as I can say, like, the... Yeah, they didn't even know that Luke and Leia were related at this <laughs> point, did they? Oh, the bit where they make out later on is close. <laughs> He's just a shyster. What? What's he buying? Uh, I don't actually know. He's got a good moustache, though. Mm. The Imperial. And a very sinister voice. I get the... Yeah. I'm off duty. I've just come to look around your shop. Sinister redub. <laughs> oh, Imperials oh, are too... What a bastard. I thought I might embarrass you, but I told you to accept them as a gift. He's a guy up against hard times, he's living under an imperial rule. He's just a good guy. Talks to himself. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people spend a lot of time talking to themselves in this. Oh, that's that awful. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, he is. Every household in the system. That's like... I know the Imperials have got a lot of troops, but... 
<laughs> and he's just after Han and Chewie right now. Yeah, I can't remember exactly why. And neither of those Star Destroyers were his big fancy one. Or did he not have that in the first one? I don't think he had that yet. The big fancy one's the best one. Oh, that kid. He's wearing an apron again. What that kid doesn't know is that if he's bad that year, they eat him on life day. That seems to be like the opposite of what I would expect life day to be about. <laughs> Wait a moment, isn't that Art Carney again? Is that, is that Scooby TV? Oh well, yeah. Hmm. Bantha Surprise. Does it have Bantha in it? Does it have Bantha Poodoo in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I once saw a picture of a pug that was dressed up as a Bantha, and it was great. I've seen that Bantha Pug. I had a little Tuscan Raider action figure sat on his back. Like, it, just, you know, it really set everything off nicely. Yeah. We that's what they're going to make. Yeah, it's made out of Bantha. Oh, she's got one. Are they actually going to cook a thing here? Well, kind of. But, um... I don't know, it's like, it's, it's right, this whole thing is just full of like weird bits that just don't make any sense. How is this Christmassy? This is gonna, I guarantee this will go on now for like five minutes, and it's just our Carney goofing around. Telling us to put banter in the pot. Yeah. I so said these aren't real things. I'm pretty sure not. He's not giving any accurate measurements, so none of us can really accurately hope to recreate this, whatever he called it. That sounds like a challenge, John. Well, we don't have any of those things. We could guess. Calorant from Root, have you got any of that? Yeah. It's practically cinnamon anyway. But just the whole thing. This is a bucket of cinnamon. He says. <laughs> That's just a, just a bucket, isn't it? Yep. She's cooking in. A regular old bucket. And in a house with so many modern conveniences, that surprises me. So they've got, like, a really lovely cooker and some really cool chairs and a flat screen TV in the kitchen. Quite a sizable one. Intergalactic video phone and secret intergalactic <laughs> video phone. Yeah, for calling Luke Skywalker on. For calling up their rebel mates. They don't really take in an active role. And considering what I know about Kashyyyk, it's usually depicted as being completely overrun by Imperials, enslaving all the natives. Like, yeah, but... Is this, this why? This is later on, though. This is after the prequels, technically. So maybe things got a bit better on Kashyyyk for a while. Well, oh, got around. Around. Yeah? Okay, what? Hmm. Oh, Carney didn't have three arms, did he? I don't think anyone did. Jake the Peg had an extra leg. Yeah. We can't talk about that guy, though. No. Oh, there's no one. Wait a minute. I think there's someone standing behind him. Wookiees be crazy. Yeah, that's probably roasting hot as well. Yeah, yeah. Is it on the cooker? The bucket? <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Mm. Look, I like remember the cooker being. It looks like it's behind. Oh no, that's the soup. Okay. Let's just put this here. Meanwhile, in space. Chewie, get on one of the guns. Oh, God, no. Oh, 
definitely got one. Let's see him. All the footage of the Millennium Falcon, <laughs> particularly that shot of Vader walking down the corridor, yeah. looked like it was intended for use somewhere else. <laughs> I, no, I don't believe you. <laughs> Take what you can find from the cutting room floor. Have Art Carney, uh, some original cast members, and four pounds of coke, and see if you can give me a holiday special. <laughs> We've not even had a song yet. All there are songs. Do they sing? It's, I'm Han Solo. Yeah, and Lando does dancing a dance. Song. Lando comes in a film early and does a dance. Lando. Lando. Is Lando in there? Uh, no. I don't think he will be. I should have said maybe. <laughs> oh. Due to suspected rebel activity on the Kazook planet, the Empire has declared martial law. Kazook? A blockade has been set up around the planet. No ships will be permitted to huh. land or take off. Kazook. Kazook. <laughs> so, like, maybe... This holiday special is setting the premise for the years of burning and slavery that happened afterwards. These guys all get one last life day before the horrors begin. Wait, where are you getting your knowledge of this from? From the prequels or from extended universe? From extended universe stuff, mainly. It's not canon anymore. But but this is. But this is, <laughs> yeah. It must be. <laughs> Oh, we thought the Empire were going to come in and kill us. Mary, <laughs> I'm sorry. You better be. <laughs> A mind evaporator. The mind evaporator. Yeah, the thing we bob. I don't want anyone to evaporate my mind. I would prefer not. <laughs> but if bless you. I have quite a heavy mind, though. Heavy mind? Yeah. A, a, a bit of it evaporating off me, nice. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I was kind of thinking it as... <laughs> so, yeah, it's my brother just clearing his nose <laughs> in the other room. Uh, I was kind of thinking it as, like, an all-or-nothing kind of... Your whole mind evaporates. Yeah. Do you think you could cope with losing just a bit of it? Do you get to choose what bit? Well, I reckon I could do that on mine. That's just for an instant to be great. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll get one then. I think one actually came out in 1978. Star Wars branded one. <laughs> yeah. Roughly around Christmas. Yeah. I think it ran on radium. So obviously it's, it's all bad. good. Yeah. Old and toys. Did I tell you about my He-Man that uh, ran on radium? It's <laughs> called the best of ran on radium. I had a... A lion Radium. Uh, you push the thing in his back and his eyes and his chest up. I think I remember that. It's like on a ring. Before you could actually put batteries in the yeah. figures. Oh god, crazy. Once I threw him over a bookcase at Nigel Lennon at school and his head snapped off me. <gasps> Did he die? Mm. Poor Nigel Lennon. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a frosty fancy. <laughs> Anyone else want one? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, there's three left. Do you want a frosty fancy? Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. One, how frosty. Two, how fancy. Cheers. They look fancier than they are frosty. Yeah. Well, I wasn't paying attention again, and now Uncle Itchy's strapped in a hairdresser chair. Oh, I think that's the mind evaporator. Oh, that was the mind evaporator. I saw it in the room before. Right, I, I'm pretty sure this is his sort of hallucination matrix. Oh, I remember what he watches. So they've got the, the hologram table mm. for the circus. Mm. Mm. Now this. Mm. My god, these frosty fancies are delicious. Mm. It's the best thing that's happened so far. Oh, wow. You should get some at home. 
Rusty Fancies from Mr. Kipling, or the cakes are available. So is this, is this all this is going to be for the next five minutes? Or? 20 minutes of this until you start hallucinating wildly. Mm. And what are they? These are the Emperor's Elite Enforcement Squad. <coughs> mm-hmm. They'll mess you right up. So you sit in a chair and you watch visions of a This is fucking weird. Yeah, this is so strange. Yeah. What the fuck is Uncle Hitchy watching? <laughs> yeah, is this like some kind of weird space porn? It does seem that way, doesn't it? This is a show essentially aimed at kids. <laughs> okay, seriously. <laughs> what? Some things are different in the 70s. <laughs> Children were a lot more sexy. <laughs> <laughs> remember, the, remember the sexy kids we had in the 70s? <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. Ooh, we all think he's enjoying a bit too much. You only have to see him from the waist up. It's not right. Adorable. <laughs> that weird champion is a little <laughs> bit um, too much. I am your experience. I am your experience. I am your experience. Your experience. Your experience. What is happening? <laughs> Look, this genuinely is some kind of weird hollow porn machine, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Who thought it was a good idea? Is this one of George's ideas? Oh, kids will love porn in the future. He was right, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Saw that one coming. Just like the merch. <laughs> maybe he's got... Maybe it literally is just dialogue he can't do. Uh, maybe. He can do porn, he can do merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> he's got everything. He he predict just, the future. <laughs> he just can't talk. <laughs> Why does he have to keep running scripts? <laughs> No, she's going to sing to him. Yeah, at this point, <coughs> may I microwave my gyozo? Yeah. I'm going to eat these in front of you guys and look at you straight in the eye. Okay. Um. These are your plates. Yeah, they're in a cupboard. Thanks. Mmm. So this is like how they watch music videos of the future. They have like yeah. an interactive sexy part at the beginning. And then they do their song. It's kind of like some kind of bizarre variety performance-esque thing. Yeah. Oh, you're so noisy. I can't help myself. Can somebody help me? <laughs> but be quiet. <laughs> that's, not, that's not as noisy as you just were. Is she still singing about Star Wars? I don't think she's singing about Star Wars at all, but to be fair, I wasn't really listening to her. I think if you listen to the lyrics, they're intrinsically linked to the plot of Star Wars. Okay. The first one? Uh, no, the last one. <laughs> Number 12. Ultimate spoiler. Yeah. 12. 12. What's how many we're going to get? The plan is to go up to at least 12. At least 12. Yeah. And that's not counting the, uh, the Star Wars story Star Wars films. Well, like Han Solo's film. There'll be a Han Solo one. Will, that, will they call that episode anything? Episode something. A Han Solo story. I like episode something. Or will they just will just either start episodes from scratch or they'll call it a chapter or they'll just do something else. 
involved in one of those things or another thing that they haven't thought of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That sounds like something that they would do. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I guess they're going to do a standalone and maybe hopefully spin off a whole load about all of them if they can. All of them? Why not? Grand Moff Tarkin, the younger years. Yeah. It's about him at boarding school and he doesn't fit in. I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the IG-88 six film series. He's a bounty hunter droid. Bounty hunter droid. Yeah. yeah. Bob Fett's getting films, isn't he? He's getting at least one film. Um, again, same with all the other spin-offs. His popular character might get seven. Imagine if they just do one about the Sarlacc. Just a whole film about the Sarlacc. <laughs> they should get like... <laughs> Herzog to do or something. Oh, I'll get Lynch. Yeah, Lynch. <laughs> he was supposed to be Return of the Jedi. Well, hopefully he'll be on board for Sarlacc. A 12 film epic. <laughs> I hate David Lynch so much. He's the best and you know it. He's not. He's one of the best and you know it. Yeah, I don't. He's a film director and you know it. Yes. Going to the toilet. <laughs> now you go to the toilet. Yeah. Just as soon as your dinner's ready. It, well, that ping is a warning for me, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's C three PO. He's and so Princess good. Leia as well in the background there. Indeed. Although they don't really have much of an established relationship. No, not really. They are two and her do. Oh, she needs him to use the phone. Yeah. Okay. It's strange how in none of the other movies they never asked Chewbacca how his family are, considering they're all so <laughs> close to them. Yeah. So it's because they're in constant contact with them. <laughs> yeah, they speak to them whether there's Peter Chewie, yeah. when he's in the ship with them. It's frustrating me that the Wookiees keep on talking and I can't understand the word they're saying. It does seem odd to have, like, for the protagonists of the holiday special. Um, a group of people whom nobody understands the language of. No, oh, she's got them over too. He's watching. Oh no, it's this guy. So good that their video calls aren't being monitored. We've made yeah. so many calls to Rebel Strongholds <laughs> today. Oh my god. Again, out of her mind. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> it's important to say allegedly. What's our county up to? He's just hanging around. Saying that he's going to look after um, Chewie's relative female potential. What? But we're not sure exactly who she is here. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I never really imagined Chewie and Han Solo ever expressing their love for each other. Whilst I'm sure it was there, mm. it just seemed to be something he wouldn't have to tell Chewie that he knew that Chewie loved him because Chewie already knew. But they're feeling a heightened sense of love because it's life day. Not their impending death at the hand of the two <laughs> Star Destroyers following them to Chewie's house. No, to Chewie's house. Yeah. <laughs> they're bringing Star Destroyers. It's just, God, what were they even thinking? We seem to have direct lines to all the rebel bases. Mm. Why aren't Luke, <laughs> Leia and Han spending life day together? Well, I know, like, Han is going with Chewie because they're right. big mates, but yeah. Leia seems to be doing administrative work and Luke is fixing a droid. Oh, and they're agnostic. Stormtroopers? Oh. oh my god. Da da! Expecting that. I wasn't. 
it's difficult to tell I'm at the emotional range of a Wookiee from what he's saying. Is it happy? Is it sad? Is it angry? They're all just screams in the same pitch. Yeah. Sometimes they sound a bit sad. Or scared. Mm. While no one else seems, you know... While some people seem to be able to understand what the Wookiees are saying, they never respond in the Wookiee language. Yeah. They always speak English to them. And it's kind mm. of implied that all Wookiees speak English, or understand English, but can't speak it. Just don't have the vocal cords. Why does no one else ever try and speak Wookiee, though? I reckon I can speak decent Wookiee. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill this family. God. He doesn't like to embarrass people. He doesn't like to be embarrassed himself. That's why he doesn't like doing it to other people. <laughs> it looks like he's left the shop without his identification. Papers, oh, please. There, there it is. He's just stolen for time. That's quite a short stormtrooper. Yeah, I was thinking. Well, sh- although now it appears to be taller than both of those men. But maybe I fell for the these cows are small, those cows are far away trick. Mm-hmm. But I you care for boys. And... You don't have many, but I do really want one. Yeah, you do. There are sure? prawn yeah. and munch too. They are delicious. Everything's just delicious. It must be Christmas. Mm. They're very good. Mm. Thank you. I made them myself. Mm. You're a talented man. This whole thing's taken on a weird Anne Frank vibe. Mm. And again, I would like to point out, this is a kid's show. Yeah. This whole, like, imperial occupation thing. I mean, I see it as a very serious threat, but maybe that's because I have more familiarity with the franchise than the people who wrote this. Yeah, sounds about right. He, He just never stops talking. It's because no one can understand the Wookiees. It's really drafting all these characters to keep monologuing at people. <laughs> yeah, we were saying before that it was a very odd choice to choose a you know, a creature that speaks a language that no one understands. Yeah. It is. As the protagonist. I guess it's because when the film came out, everyone was like, oh, Chewbacca's amazing, it's so real. We can make more Chewies. <laughs> no. Is he going to vaporize this guy's mind? That would be cool. Make him watch the sexy music video. (laughs) (laughs) They'll they'll be into that. Yeah, exactly. So he's watching... Sixth Street! <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking we were about to hear. Oh, is he watching Starship? That's where I thought it might be going. Yeah, it's time for Jefferson Starship. This is before they even built that city, you know, on that really on the wrong damn road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They built like a rocking city on rock and roll. It'd be more impressive if they built like a jazz city on it. We built this city on jazz. Yeah. That'd be a better song, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it just says it once, it just goes, we built this city on jazz. And it breaks into like a free form 20 minutes of just wild trumpet <laughs> solos. Mm-hmm. We built this city on metal. I've never built a city on metal. 
We could um, we could release our own album that that does that. Okay. Just various different genres the, of the, music that we built cities on. <laughs> we built this city on decent rock bed and loam. Yeah. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, you know, if I was in a band, do you know what I'd do? I change the name of the band every time we release an album. Keep the name of the album the same every time. Bullshit! That was my idea. <laughs> no, that was my idea. That was my idea. That was totally my idea. I, I came up with it ages ago. I wanted to do that for like twenty years. For twenty years, fifty years. You're just taking advantage of the fact that you're older than me, so <laughs> that you can do it for longer. I've wanted to do that for one hundred and eighteen years. Well, I've not been alive that long, so I can't have wanted to do that. But, but I win. <laughs> well, maybe we should just be in the same band. Fine. This does make a lot more sense. Yeah. When you die young, I will tell the media that it was my idea. Son of a bitch. Yep. Yeah, I'll come back from the grave. But only you'll be able to see me. It'll be old Randall and Hot Well, that'd be cool. <laughs> well, well, we solve crimes just like Randall and Hot Cookie. Deceased. Is it even more coarse crimes? With the help of a ghost? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be great. We should totally do that. That just, you know, my life has been planned out for me. I'm not going to mention these electric instruments these guys are playing. So, Jeff's and Starship have been around for a long time again, if a long time ago. Yeah, before yeah. this, there were Jefferson there playing. And they regenerated into Jefferson Starship. Like a doctor. <laughs> Essentially, yeah. And so they can travel time <laughs> in the same way, which explains how they were around a long time ago in a galaxy far, mm. far away. Much like Fleetwood Mac regenerated into Fleetwood Mac, but a different Fleetwood Mac. What? There's only like Mick Fleetwood and the first Fleetwood Mac, and they were a blues band, and then they became Fleetwood Mac, which is a different, a different vibe. He says making that motion. That man looked exceedingly like Nigel Tufnell. Looked a bit like Murderface for a second. This is from Spinal Tap. <laughs> That is a microphone he's singing into. Uh, yeah, but you could be forgiven for thinking it was something else. So the Imperials have just come around to watch Jefferson Starship <laughs> on the TV. <laughs> they get bad internet. <laughs> <laughs> we still only have 56k. <laughs> oh, dial up. Oh, he loves it. <laughs> They're, they're pretty purple. Pink. Purple pink, a lot of them. Puce. Puce. Mm. Is that what that is? I think so. I mean, it actually just looks more pink. It's electric it puce. <laughs> electric puce. I've got my bedroom painted in this. That's what we can call the first iteration of our band. <laughs> electric puce. <laughs> electric puce. <laughs> What's the name of the album going to be that keeps getting re-released? Um, I don't know. Greatest Hits. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that sounds good. Mm-hmm. This is uh, also quite a long bit. They all are. This whole oh, this whole thing could have been done in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which segment have you appreciated the most so far? <laughs> it's all been awful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it has <laughs> undoubtedly so far all been awful. <laughs> But it's weirdly charming, especially like you see, seeing the evolution of Star Wars, and like you kind of forget the film was done kind of on a small budget. But look at the magic they made, and this was probably done on a tiny budget as well. And look at what a fuck up it was. <laughs> <laughs> you win some, you lose some. Yeah. I hear this is based on the Akira Kurosawa Hollywood special. <laughs> Is that room the one where he cuts Bill Murray's head off? Yeah, is that one, yeah. In a fight with Bing Crosby? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. So he's going now. Oh, I forgot. I want to leave you my car in case you need any People die. <laughs> The Stormtrooper's response to everything that they don't like <laughs> so far has been to point a gun at it. 
you know, I don't like this either, that the bad guys have American accents. I'm used to all the Imperial generals and shit being British. Mm, it doesn't sound evil enough. <laughs> Well, so they're like struggling to find a connection between this place and the Imperial, but Chewie lives here. Yeah, I think they've gone there because Chewie used to live there, like he was in his file or something. Okay. Yeah, right. We're looking for Mr. Chewbacca T. Wookie. Do you stormtroopers get angry? Yeah, because he's on. Stormtroopers look a bit different these days now with the new film than they used to. In the four, five, and six, they weren't clone troopers anymore. But there were still people who got drafted in. Like Luke's mates, a lot of them went off to the academy. Luke wanted to go to the academy. He would have become been, a stormtrooper. He would have been a pilot. He would have been an imperial pilot. Was he too short? <laughs> Is that why they wouldn't let him in? No, he, he had to go and farm that moisture. Yeah. I'm a moisture farmer. Oh, what is that? This is another type of fame. Maybe this is the mind evaporator. <laughs> it's okay, son. Go and evaporate your mind. <laughs> <laughs> It'll all be over soon. Oh, oh cartoon movie for copyright, copyright reasons. reasons. Son of a bitch. Right. This is why art is a lot shorter than everyone else's then. Yes, because we don't have the... Right. <clears throat> so he was watching a cartoon of current, like, rebellious and political figures <laughs> that are active in the galaxy. They're the just time. like South Park in uh, the Star Wars universe. They could be that on top of current events that they release cartoons about news stories that are currently happening. Incredible. But we should point out as well, that cartoon was the first appearance of Boba Fett. It's... It's a great cartoon, why don't you go and watch it? There's <laughs> links in the description. We're not going to talk about it here, and if any of you did bother to start the film at the same time as us, now it's out of sync, and Han Solo is upside down, and so is Luke Skywalker, and the cartoon is once again removed for copyright reasons. <laughs> oh, I hope that everyone's going to be alright. I don't think so. Oh, it's fine. He um, looks pleased. He clapped. So, yeah, is everyone okay then? Uh, Luke and Han got vaporised. But he's a sick Wookiee and he loves it. Okay, so they can show this bit that isn't a cartoon. But they can't show the cartoon bit. I don't know why that is. It's a little weird. Copyright's a tricky issue. It seems odd. Look at that, it's a little toy banther! I, I actually want one. That's great! That's huge! Is this thing gonna tear its head off? Of course he is. Fucking cocaine in here! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, everything in this room is made of cocaine! <laughs> so he's just pulled apart his toy and now they're going in. Oh, these guys are tools! He still does. We even pulled off a Bantha's head. Did you pull off the Bantha's head? <sighs> what an asshole. That's something all kids can get behind in hating that Imperial man. Boo. Not only is he making Wookiee Child clean its room, but they made the mess. Oh, yeah. I was kind of getting behind the Empire till he said, go clean up your room. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were a bunch of neat dudes. Yeah, now I think they're squares. Look at the state of his room. <laughs> it's such a mess. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, I love that banter. I love that banter. <laughs> this whole setup is awful. This is just awful. The Nazis are raiding this family's house and everyone's being sad and they're getting threatened with death. On life day. On life day. Yeah. We don't know where Chewie is. <coughs> Nothing says Christmas. Like uh, in fact, actually, everyone else might know where Chewie is. We just don't because we didn't see the cartoon. Ah, uh, no, the cartoon isn't relevant. It's like a little sideways story. 
Mm. Well, Boba Fett is riding around on a brontosaurus and they have to work together a bit or something. What, the brontosaurus and Boba Fett? No, but, well, yeah, essentially he's riding it. It's got stirrups. And Leia and Luke and Han 3D. <laughs> Chewie and C-3PO and LTD2 after their thing. There was like a Star Wars cartoon. I mean, there was Ewoks. Yeah. But there was another one, wasn't there? Droids. Droids. There's R2 and C-3PO knocking around with some no marks. It's the start of Extended Universe. I'm morally opposed to Extended Universe. <laughs> morally? Morally. Oh, some of it's pretty good. Right, that them games. That Force Unleashed. Oh yeah. That's a good game. True. Force Unleashed 2 is a big pile of wank, but the first one's good. Yeah, well, it's kind of fun pile of wank. Dark Forces. Dark Forces is cool. Mm-hmm. Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight is Rogue, cool. Rogue Dark Sporting. Forces 3, Jedi Knight 2. <laughs> Yeah, that's the video games, yeah, fine. We didn't have much to go on for the past 30 years, really, apart from the... Shadow of the Empire. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. Morally opposed to that? None of it's canon anymore. Who's this dude? This is a guy with a high-tech future computer. What's he going to do with it? Oh, has he got one as well? But now let's get started, shall we? It's a good turn. (laughs) Okay. What's happening here? He may be a robot. Okay. Is this going to be like the cooking one? Where it's basically an instructional segment on a thing that doesn't exist with tools you can't use? Yeah. (laughs) This would be really popular on YouTube these days. Yeah. Gee, God, George Lucas really was good. I wonder how involved in this he was. Oh, he did what he said you shouldn't do. And then he smiled. What's he... Uh, what? Oh, this is weird. That's kind of horrifying. All right, well, we're kind of getting to sort of H.P. Lovecraft style existential horror. Yeah, <laughs> I just want you to come home for life. <laughs> 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 I really don't care about this real-time wait for Chewie where the most horrific <laughs> television programs and situations occur to a small family on the Wookiee planet. It is like a trip gone bad. I just, just, I just wish it was over. <laughs> just another 75 more minutes. <laughs> and maybe it's just because I haven't seen it, but maybe I feel like the cartoon was the best bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> yeah. I am sorry, it probably would be as well. Yeah. It's really well animated, and it's the original voices, and it's like, oh, that's pretty neat. So it, it, it's kind of, it feel, feels good that it was kind of cut out. But we experienced the real horror of this thing, though. Um, <laughs> maybe next year we can do Morecambe and Wires for you. Ah, oh, thanks. That would be better. I will be watching the Morecambe and Wires this Christmas. Which year though? There were so many years while they were alive. <laughs> <laughs> you should go to Morecambe <laughs> and watch it at the Eric Morecambe statue. There's not a wise statue though, is there? You could dress as wise. <laughs> <laughs> I find this exciting. Uh, more exciting than this weird robot man teaching you how to fix a computer I maybe it's the brain evaporator maybe this is what they were referring to when they used the term brain evaporating the show I feel stupider <laughs> <laughs> yeah I haven't watched it yeah I can feel some of my major functions starting to break down I really thought something might have come of the fact that that Wookiee was walking up on the rail in a clearly dangerous place but it seems to that you know we didn't really dwell on that why? It's so boring. And they're still, still here. here. Yeah. <laughs> I thought they were going home. They never go home. Ain't that some Star Wars? 
more footage that they didn't use. Oh, it was a cool alien there. Oh, he's got a big gun and a shoulder pad. That means he's in charge. Oh, oh. Cantina music. Huh. Oh, that's them Cantina guys. It's uh, him. Oh, you guys might be in for a treat now. A treat? A treat. Hey, it's Wolfface. Are they going to have a, like, one of those handy stabby games? Uh, ooh, no. There's a lot of aliens in this bar. Really? This is Moss Eisley, isn't it? It must be. Oh, some cool ones. There's Bumface. Oh, there's Bumface. There's that guy who had the, the figure of the 90s. You had the figure of that guy? Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure it was a, he wasn't an original figure, he was a re release figure. Do you think you'll have to get your figure back? No, not after these kids. But it looked like, for a second, that he was holding a baby, and it was as if he'd stolen a baby from <laughs> that man. <laughs> that a stupid dyke in it. That's what happened in my head. Was that that guy again? I think it is Art Carney. Aunt Carney. Uh, do, do we know who Aunt <coughs> Carney is? Because I don't. Yeah, I don't know who he is. Like another sort of 60s variety show guy. Who was clearly doing nothing around the time of 1978 because he could do pretty much all of the Star Wars special on his own. <laughs> the variety, variety shows were drying up. He needed something to do. I'm pretty sure he put this whole project together. He did this. He's, Aunt Carney. He's, he's the man responsible for... Yeah. This nonsense. <laughs> he just wanted to do a scene with B. Arthur. He's got a bit of a Father Ted vibe to him. <laughs> and now he's drinking through the top of his head. That's not very Ted. <laughs> oh, hammerhead. Does he like being patted on the face like that? I don't think I'd <laughs> like it if someone patted me between the eyes. I like the way the sound was thrown when she was patting it. He sounded like upholstery. is going to end well for Krillman. It never ends well when you've got a hole in the top of your head. <laughs> I'm not trying to think of circumstances when it would end well, but I, I cannot think of any right now. You just get slam dunked by people all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. What if a bird pooed on his head and he ate it? Yeah, life is hell. <laughs> This has, again, already gone on for an infinite amount of time. And also, as, as something marketed to Star Wars, it contains nothing Star Wars I care about. <laughs> Especially, like, the really long bits like this. He's got Snaggletooth. There he was. But the that's Cantina great. Band as well. Mm. What? But that's they been my favourite part not here. Far. No, he's behind the bar. Oh, no... He's going to get his ass kicked. The staff. Can't just grope people. That is actually kind of super rapey. Uh, it was a long time ago. <laughs> the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> In the galaxy far, far away. The 70s. <laughs> Do you think because um, the new ones are set more recently, it would just be quite a while ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Because it is getting more and more recent as they go on. Some time ago. In a okay. galaxy far, far away. Well, I don't know, they keep going. If They've only gone 30 years into the future from the first four to three. So if it ages in real time, yeah. they'll never catch up with us. You know what would be great? If the film just was like 25 minutes of really cool shit, and then the titles roll, and it says 25 minutes ago in a cinema right here, and then they just play a recording of the audience for the rest of the, the length of the feature. I would sit there as long as it kept going. <laughs> <laughs> I pay for this. I want to be part of the experience. Look, 
they're watching this happen. What kind of joy are they getting out of that? Oh god, are you kidding me? Well, yeah, B. Arthur's coming back. She does something else that goes on forever that has not been done yet. <laughs> what? Yeah. I thought it, we were like coming to a close. Well, there she is. So they're just watching a live feed of a bar? For funsies. <laughs> it's like Geordie Shaw or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they want. Icely Shaw. <laughs> the B after's the hottest chick in town. <laughs> they probably would, wouldn't they? You know, if they're going to yeah. take a district of the universe, why not go for that wretched hive of scum and villainy? Yeah. And make a reality TV show about its inhabitants. It's like Benefit Street. The, oh. I'm not saying they're all scum and villains, by the way. I'm just saying it's uh, it is uh, a bit of a, a habit of the reality TV folks. <laughs> yeah, they do a lot of good uh, TV kicking of people. I've watched Jersey Shore. No one comes out of that world. I see you can have to kick him out. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you all. <sighs> I'm not finished drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Prohibition. Next, they'll be taking your guns away, America. Uh, Tatooine. Da, 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 da. Controversial. Can't take guns off America. I reckon you'd be able to get away with it if you could give everyone lightsabers instead. And then a lot of people would have less arms. Yeah. Their faces. The day that lightsabers are invented, people are going to start dying of their own accidental accord. So they won't leave the bar? Yeah, under pain of death, they won't leave the bar. What happens to her if they don't leave the bar? Then... Is she just trying to save the lives of these ungrateful sacks of shit. If they don't leave the bar, I think she gets forced to live with three old women in a house <laughs> in Miami. Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Satan's just turned up and he's packing heat. <laughs> <laughs> I will have a drink. I fear no empire, for I am the Lord of Darkness. <laughs> now they're going to have a riot because they can't have any booze. And they're going to bring down the empire. <coughs> All right, as the only speaking person in this scene, again, I will continue. What happened to um, a hole in the head, man? Uh, I think he, he went off sad. I think I think I just saw him put his hood up. What well, in case a bird shits on him when he's outside? <laughs> they're playing it slow now. Because they're sad. It's kind of like a, a jazzy rendition. And she's going to sing a song. Again. Is it going to last forever? Yes. <laughs> oh. And again, it's got that sort of World War Two, you know, World War One, maybe two, in a French bar. Was it World War One or two? World War Two. I was trying to remember which way around wars happened. World War Two was just like World War One, apart from it took place in an airport, though. Wait a minute, isn't that World War Two, World War harder? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so although they're being closed down, they can come back tomorrow. I don't think the patrons will be satisfied by just one more drink. But if it was a really good one, considering they wouldn't leave. And Satan brought a gun to enforce his <laughs> right to drink. Oh, look, it's a giant mouse. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty Star Wars y, right? Yeah, it must be. It's not like it was a prop left over from another production that they were uh, <laughs> doing or anything. That sounds ludicrous. I'm going to look back at 1977 to see if there's any film or TV featuring a giant mouse. <laughs> that LucasArts had any involvement with <laughs> or CBS even yeah. is that done? what is that? that? <laughs> it's a living wig <laughs> <laughs> do you think any ETs will be in it? oh 
usually in in big crowd scenes they like to sneak in a, a different character from their stable. There are E.T. things in um, some oh, of the prequel films yeah. on there. It's Greedo! He's, she's dancing with Greedo. He's there, he's in the corner. Sorry, yeah. just like... That's racist. They all look like that. That's <laughs> racist. <laughs> They're coming back from that. <laughs> he was wearing the same gear, isn't yeah. he? And he has been known to drink in it. Maybe it's Greedo's identical to Umbrella. He will kill the shit out of Han if he turns up here again. <laughs> Maybe that's who he was looking for. Oh shit, yeah, it's in the first one that Greedo dies. <laughs> Do you think Han still drinks in places like this, considering now he's an upstanding member of um, a par- paramilitary <laughs> organisation? Like a general. Yeah. I expect he drinks some more, now that he's a general. In places like this, yeah, just more of them. I could do what I want. <laughs> Be Arthur, give me a drink to pour in the top of my head. <laughs> Saints having a great time. Yeah. She was worried before because the Empire said that they were going to kill anyone, and now she's singing a big song and rising them all to sing with her, and that's uh, likely in the attention. It's a camera line developing. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so is this is this a plot development point? She she's uh, singing right out I of think her. I see what she's done. Look at that, yeah. She's a wily cat. Yeah. I mean, that's great. Who has such crazy long fingers? Maybe that's where all this commotion about who shot first came from. Maybe Greedo started to shoot first, but it took longer for his finger to pull the trigger because it is longer. I don't care what anyone says, I don't care what I see, Han shot Greedo completely first, and Greedo didn't get to shoot at all. He just fucking nailed him, and that was it. Pretty much, that's that's what I want to believe happened. Even if, in the future, all versions of it show the other one, I want to tell my kid, oh no, Han shot that guy in cold blood because he's a badass. Is even the bouncer going home? Yeah. And the person of Demise's stature? Yeah, I think she was standing under a box. Under a box? Like she's shorter. Maybe you stand under a box. Under a box. So even if the box is like. If you stand under a box, you look taller. If you stand under a box, you look shorter. Who's still playing the music? I saw Cantina Dude Leave. Playlist? Are they miming? No, it's a hole in the head, man. He was hiding behind the bar! Oh. And now he attempts to seduce her on his own with the rest of the security people gone. Fade out on that creepy scene. <laughs> They're going over there. Their technology is incredible. So they all watched that illegal gathering in a bar and did nothing about it. Gotta get the kicks. Possible. Hmm. I guess they don't know for sure. <laughs> but they're all like, all Wookiees look the same in anyway. <laughs> How do we know which world is this Chewbacca? Well, I, I, if this film, this, this film, this shows shown as anything, is that all Wookiees do not look the same. Most Wookiees look <laughs> freakish. How does <laughs> how does anyone know that Chewbacca's name is Chewbacca, considering he can't speak in a tongue that any of them understand? He must have picked it up somewhere, written it down, <laughs> sent it in a text message. But someone's like, she's got this email off Chewbacca. Does anyone know a Chewbacca? And he's like, Whoa! <laughs> oh God, that's the Wookie. <laughs> I was calling him Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> This is more like a horror film compilation. Compilation? Like, this is dark. Like, the Nazis arrived on Christmas Day and smashed all your toys. The fuck's this guy doing? He's gonna wreck the room again. Why do they always pick on the kid? And really slowly run down the stairs. Oh, Oh, shit. Was that guy gonna kill the kid Wookie? Tear his head off. Why isn't the guy shooting? This is very Oh. Be quiet. Stand out. Look at him. 
classic Han Solo move. Oh. <laughs> he made him trip off a balcony. He didn't even do it on purpose. He never does it on yes. purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is, this is, this is wow, so God. So the other Wookiee is his wife. His wife that he never spends any time with for the entire franchise. Unless he's married to Richie. Or talks about. <coughs> ever. Well, we ever don't know again. what he's talking about. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford doesn't understand what he's saying. <laughs> and Chewbacca's yeah. just like, I'd really like to go and see my wife and child now, <laughs> Anne. <laughs> yeah, she would like to eat some hot dogs as well. <laughs> So what do you think, Chewie? Should we get involved in this mission <laughs> to defeat the Empire? I knew I'd have your back. <laughs> oh. Get out of my house. I'm I don't gonna, like you. I'm going to catch up with your family. <laughs> like, what? What was that? Did you see that? Is he... Oh my God, is he really his father? What? <laughs> Is that what those looks are about? Oh my god. He they were never worried about Chewie coming home. He also does look out of his mind on cocaine. Oh yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> He's having a great time. Oh, Han Solo doesn't hug people. Or throttle Chewie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like guns. <laughs> So, what's Han going to do for the rest of the life, Dane? Oh, just you wait. <laughs> a big old pile of cocaine on my <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very difficult to read the emotions of Wookiees. Can't believe you slept with Han. <laughs> <laughs> We're going on Jeremy Kyle. <laughs> Uncle Itchy? Whose uncle is he? <laughs> That's the same look that she gave for Han. It's weird. <laughs> um, Maybe what's... it was exactly the same look. Why is her lower jaw protruding so much? Because she's aroused. <laughs> <laughs> her walk is. So he's looking at it now. My god, it's enormous. Now they can have a hug. Because they do the chin thing first. That's a Wookiee thing. It's a Wookiee thing. They do it in all the films. That a Wookiee meets another Wookiee. In. <laughs> when a Wookiee meets a Wookiee. <laughs> oh shit, what's happening now? He's getting his bowcaster out. They better have bowcaster in the new film. Oh, it's this guy. Shoot him. Well, the whole empire. <laughs> <laughs> we don't mind that you kicked our dude off the balcony. Yeah, someone's going to ask questions about that. Oh dear. Look at that carpet bag. It looked like it. We have two way communication, Trader Sondan. Is this a report about the missing trooper? It is, sir. Trooper B 4711 was here with three other men. They left and he remained. As soon as they had gone, he packed a lot of food from this house and he robbed me blind. Then he took off for the hills. <sighs> He's finally getting into a lot of trouble, this trader man. I can only hope he was executed. <laughs> for his crimes. Yeah. Surely the body of this stormtrooper is still lying at the bottom of the giant tree. That happened like a minute ago. There's a lot of uh, dangerous wildlife down on the floor of Kashyyyk and you don't often go down there. Isn't that where Rancors come from? Or is that Endor? Well, Rancors are all over the show. Really? Yeah. According to The Force Unleashed. Uh, uh, canon. <laughs> Not canon. Okay, the Rancors are only on Tatooine. <laughs> Everything's on Tatooine. Wait, that's a Star Wars thing! This is Star Wars. He actually mentioned a Star Wars thing! <laughs> <laughs> Chewie's a Star Wars thing. 
his yeah. whole family aren't, he's but not, he is. Apart from holding his bowcaster in an interesting way, he's not done anything remotely Star Wars he? He made some cheery noises. <laughs> what have they all got there? Is this a life day thing? Well, you've never had so, life yeah. day. <laughs> 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 getting good now here we go oh, please let this have been kept in this version oh god no it's the song isn't it maybe like did you know that Star Wars tune Star Wars tune has lyrics no I did not and they're just the best <laughs> Everything's going all hazy. It's like an extreme close up on some diamonds. I, I think they're on the. the oh, they've got robes. Yeah, Jedi outfits. I think they're exactly Jedi. It's got more sort of a Scientologist vibe. <laughs> as, as they file into the singularity. Yeah, I never thought Wookiees were into this kind of jazz. <laughs> Dressing up in robes and single filing into a singularity, as you say. Yeah, you, you gotta get just walking through space. <laughs> Do you not remember this in Empire Strikes <laughs> Back? Like some kind of Star Trek. <laughs> the end. Do you think John Williams did the music? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, <laughs> there's some things that sound almost familiar, like this. It sounds kind of like the throne room music when they get their medals. We got medals, didn't we? Really? Well, we, we got medals. Oh, we got medals. Um, Chewie got a medal years later. Did he? Yeah, like on the MTV Movie Awards presented by Carrie Fisher, like 20 years after the film. But well, that's legit. Yeah. Or are they congregating around the body of the dead stormtrooper down on the forest floor? <laughs> We're going to eat it. It is life day after all. <laughs> yeah. We did kill a man. <laughs> oh, it's a shame that we're robots. I wish I had a soul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm little more than a toaster. <laughs> Apart from droids. <laughs> <laughs> Rubbing the Wookiee. <laughs> that sounds like an educational book <laughs> in the Star <Thomas> universe. <laughs> where our children who think they're uh, for children, for parents who think their children are getting a little bit too experienced. Oh, I better slow this kid down <laughs> with Star Wars. Stop stroking the Wookiee. Look, these are the lyrics to Star Wars. Oh, wow. This is what they always were. <laughs> oh, they look so into it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I think the only way I could have got through this would be doing an insane amount of drugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the camera strayed over to see through here for a second <laughs> and he covered his crotch when he noticed <laughs> he was looking on it. Oh, I realised I'm naked. Oh, I'm a robot. <laughs> Will this damn war be over? Do you think they'll sing this song in Force Awakens? I think John Boyega and Daisy Ridley do a, a duet of this <laughs> <laughs> while they're on the Millennium Falcon fighting off TIE fighters. Yeah, and then just after that, they go, I'm just going to go on the uh, Mind Wiper and watch <laughs> some music porn for a bit. <laughs> 
Uh, and then Circus Hologram. Circus Hologram. Circus Hologram. <laughs> if Circus Hologram isn't in The Force Awakening, <laughs> I am just going to, you know, complain so hard forever and ever. And they're just silently filing out now. Yeah, in a kind of awkward and scary way. <laughs> wow. It looks like he's going to say, dedicated to <laughs> you. <G-Man. laughs> he died so young. Well... Uh, some footage of Chibi walking to the Millennium Falcon. Right, I, I believe this has gone silent again. I believe it's playing the Star Wars music and a guy saying, Ah, oh, Wookiees, get ready for Empire Strikes Back. Here's a hollow chest thing. It's what? cool. You never want to lose to a Wookiee. No, a Wookiee never wants to lose or something. I you, don't know. You, you, you don't want to lose to a Wookiee either, but you don't want, to, don't want the Wookiee to win. They <laughs> mean the same thing. <laughs> Don't <laughs> play games with Wookiees. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the moral of the story. A Wookiee is not to be trifled with. They're, de- they're definitely not for life, they. They're for oh, life. There's Obi Wan Kenobi. He gives yeah. him a sly grin. He knows more than. <laughs> Spoiler alert: <laughs> if he gets struck down, he becomes more powerful than Vader could possibly imagine. Which equates to appearing twice as a ghost. More powerful than you could possibly imagine. So he appears in you know, the first one at Ghost, because he's like... Use Luke. the fuck. Oh, yeah. Use the targeting computer. That's what it's for. <laughs> it's <laughs> a small object at distance. Don't be a dunce, Luke. Remember your training. Oh, uh, they've got a life day tree. Oh, mm, is that what that is? What is it? Bowl. They look like bowls. Oh, yes, yeah, the spheres. <laughs> Weird sphere things. Oh, they're all happy now that they can just stare at each other's faces. They do that a lot. I feel a Wookiee thing. I must be a Wookiee thing. I'm glad I'm not a Wookiee. I don't like looking at people's faces. <laughs> there, are, there are other bits of people connected to them. Is there a species that never looks at someone's <laughs> face? Yeah, because I want to be one of them. But I still want to have eyes for looking. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's the most sense. Do you have a seance? <laughs> That's the direction it feels we're going in. Obi Wan's going to appear and serve them salad. <laughs> Why have you called me here? I'm busy. <laughs> have you ever seen the Lavender Hill Mob? <laughs> <laughs> well, there it is. The Star Wars Holiday Special, with emphasis on the word special. But that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Chewie got home for life day, uh, a stormtrooper fell off a balcony. And then there was no investigation into this. <laughs> Princess Leia, yeah, sang a song. She does each year for life day. <laughs> uh, the Empire decided not to investigate the serious breaches of Imperial law happening because it was life day. And the Germans and the English had a football match. Yeah, uh, they had a truce for one night. Mm-hmm. Well, now that that's over, I'm going to the cinema. So, what? So, we have to remove the fucking Star Wars music from bits in the film, but we'll put it on now. The guy's talking over it? I, I don't know. I don't know what any of that meant. Those guys all got melted down for swag years ago. <laughs> Sweet hostage. Sorry, Linda Blair from The Exorcist. Mm, weird. Well, let's all go to the cinema and watch Star Wars 7. You heard of it? No. <laughs> I didn't realise they were still doing that. Then you're in for a treat. Has uh, it got Darth Vader in? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Cool. Then I'm in. Night, everybody. Night, guys. Night. Happy Star Wars. Merry Life Day. Oh, my God.